be in a sweat. Queen will suffer from complications due to turning back on doctor's consultation. Queen Elizabeth II, 95, has been resting in recent months under doctor's advice. The elderly monarch's busy schedule meant she had to pull out of engagements in October and November. Buckingham Palace has said little about Her Majesty's condition, although did announce the Queen had sprained her back last month, forcing her to miss a Remembrance Day wreath-laying service. Prior to that, the palace revealed in October that the Queen had undergone preliminary medical checks after she was admitted to hospital for her first overnight stay in eight years. Amid a swirl of reports on the Queen's condition, royal expert Russell Myers has claimed that there is no doubt she will experience health complications. The Daily Mirror's royal editor was speaking on royal podcast Pod Save the Queen, hosted by Zoe Forsey. I think we all forget at times that the Queen is 95, he remarked. There's no doubt that someone of that age is going to have a variety of health issues as they become older. Following the Queen's cancellation of her appearance at COP26 in Glasgow last month, Mr. Myers spoke on the Regal-themed podcast. Her Majesty was scheduled to speak to delegates at the United Nations Climate Change Conference in New York. She was compelled to leave and instead communicated with officials via a pre-recorded video message. Other royals did attend COP26, including the Queen's son, Prince Charles, who gave a speech at the conference, and Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge. Mr. Myers claimed it was probably best for the Queen's health that she did not attend the global summit. He said, it's great that she's taking rest. The travel, I believe, would have been too much. Not only the travel, but there was a big reception she was due to host. Amid the lack of details about the Queen's health from the palace, Charles addressed her condition. Speaking to reporters in his first interview since COP26, Charles said the Queen was all right but added that things were not as easy for her. The heir apparent was on a tour of Egypt and Jordan with his wife, Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall last month. Charles was asked by a reporter about his mother's health, to which he replied, She's all right, thank you very much. Once you get to 95, it's not quite as easy as it used to be. It's bad enough at 73. Mr. Myers said that Charles, William and Kate took over the Queen's responsibilities at COP26. The expert said that holding court among delegations from some 200 countries would have proved an exhausting task for the Queen. He said, not only meeting and greeting all the world leaders, standing on your feet for such an amount of time, but holding conversation for that period. I think that when she probably hasn't had the real time to prepare for something like this, it's probably the best decision that she does step aside, concentrate on her health and let the others take over.